ahead, Dave, do the intro. Okay. Oh, here we go again. I was gonna say good morning, but we we don't do pleasantries, do we? We just jump right into it. We just go. You're all about pleasantries. Give them a pleasantry. <laughs> no, I'm are you picking a book? What are you... <laughs> okay, so hello from the Guardian Center. I'm Alan Higgins. This is Dave Brown <laughs> with Federal Resources, and uh, and today we're going to be discussing uh, some safe sampling practices with. Uh, the Gemini spectrometer. This is both an FTIR, which is Fourier Transform Infrared, and a Ramon spectrometer. So we're just going to talk about some, uh, some basic sampling protocols for safety uh, so you don't hurt yourself when using one of these instruments. The first thing I want to talk about is uh, safe sampling as it pertains to sample sizes. I don't know. Size matters. <laughs> Are we allowed to say that in these videos? That size matters. Well, go big size or go matter. home. Does, size does in fact matter with this. And in this case, smaller is better. So ladies, if you're out there, smaller is better. I'm, I'm your guy. It's so gross. Yeah, it is. It is pretty gross. And that's what most ladies say about me too. I gotta, just, I gotta put the old man what glasses on. What are you on looking it. for? I gotta, I gotta be able to see your ear here. So I'm gonna put a small amount of product down here. And what I want to prove with this little demo. You might want to move that product. No, we're going to leave that product right there. Just Roger that. Primarily why I do this is uh, do this demonstration to show that if you're using proper sample sizes, even if it detonates, you're not going to get hurt. You might piss yourself a little bit, but. If you use proper sample sizes, which is SMO, small, uh, even if it detonates, you are not going to get hurt because you have all of this atmosphere to dissipate that energy. If we go to a vial first, then you have the potential to cause an explosion in that vial and you fragment that vial. So you should never go to vial first. Your first scan of any unknown solid or powder should be in point and, mode shoot, point and shoot mode first to basically determine if it's explosive or not. If, if, if you scan it multiple times and it doesn't detonate, then you can go ahead and transfer it to a vial and try, try it that way. But still use only a small amount in the vial. You don't need a great deal. Okay, so we're gonna arm the instrument. We're gonna use the, uh, the Ramon side of the, uh, the Gemini here. We have a zero second scan delay. We're gonna scan, we're gonna see and prove that we won't get hurt here should it detonate. Well, let's stop this scan first, and I know what's going on here. Because Dave Brown is not very clean. My nose cone's dirty, and not enough energy. Why is it dirty, out. Alan? Uh, because some idiot burnt something with it. So you gave it to me to wipe on my shirt. Exactly, because you got that nice blue shirt. It's still dirty, Alan. That's because you're not cleaning it. Rub a little spit on it. <laughs> yep, still dirty. Well, let's try this. And there we go. So my, my fingers were literally right here. There's the smudge mark. And you can see that I'm not bleeding from any wounds or anything like that. You do want to wear safety glasses when you use these instruments, not so much for laser safety. It's because of something like that. If it does detonate, you don't want the burning, a burning particle to get in your eyeball. And I said we close at that segment. Okay, so Cut. So there you have it. Uh, any unknown solid or powder, the first scan should be in point and shoot mode like you saw here. Uh, once you eliminate the possibility that it's ex explosive, then you can go to, to vial mode. And with that, we'll wrap up this segment on safe sampling. Tune in next time and we'll cover some more uh, safety tips or sampling tips with the Gemini.